Okay, here is this existing VPM program where we're looking at the left blob and the right blob. And here's the failed image. The right blob and the left blob both fail, obviously. And after that, we want to do this result check basic program because it sets um, it sets the colors red, green, and blue. Uh, so really we want this result check to be after the blobs because as it exists, um, it's going to be delayed by one image uh, because VPN programs run from the top down. So we really need to move this below both blobs. Another thing we could do is you could train the blob like this so that this is smaller and only within the yellow confine, not on the background, and click Train to update these values. And the search region, it could be like a square. We could also make it a circle. And when we make a circle, if we grab this handle here on the right, it makes it bigger. If we grab anywhere else, we can move it. So if we make it bigger and in the middle, we can see if we click on pass fail now. So we did the training here. We did the search region here. And now we're doing the pass fail. If I click on this blob, it tells me what range it's in and this one. And down here, I could do two blobs. And now. Um, it passes because it found these two blobs. The, the problem with this is it doesn't tell you right from left if that's what you happen to want to do. So both are good, but this happens to be an additional way to use the blob. Okay, we're going to just assume we need to have left from right because both work and we have this result check basic program. What you need to do to see that basic program when I have it selected, down here I click on Properties, and now we have this basic program. I had before here just Part Good, and I create this new tag. I just type in Left Part Good and Right Part Good, and then when I click Compile, I have these new tags here down at the bottom. So if both Left Part and Right Part are good, I'm going to set my result color to green. Uh, 0, 100, 0, and I'm going to set my results st string to OK. Otherwise, I'm going to set my color to red and my result string to no good. The reason I'm using a basic instruction here instead of a pass fail is uh, I have this these same sets of tags I'm setting for both conditions. The pass fail is great if you're going to set a discrete output. The next thing we need to do, though, for the right part good, we need to link it. So I'll click on this link button, and I can click on the icon for right blob. And uh, because I define this as type boolean, uh, the most common kind of bool on the target pops up. So now I've linked it, and I need to scroll up to left good. And again, I, we need to link it. And I could just click on past here, you can also get to it by going down the tree, and there it is, past. Now it's linked. So, you know, in this case, we really don't need the pass fail. Now let's look at Control Panel Manager, CPM. I've made changes to my vision program, so let's refresh it to get the updates. And let's go through and look at some of these links. Um, I noticed some of these have two links. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete both of those and recreate a new one. So on buffer images, this is where we want to get them. And I renamed these ABC because it was just a little too confusing. So we want the result string C. And I clicked on the plus sign. And now I have the value. And I'm going to click and drag over onto the text and let go. And now I have this menu. I don't want to create a new one or link to a property or link to the background. I want to link to this existing text that I created. And 
I'll click text and there's the updated link. And we'll do all the rest of those. Next, we're going to look at these indicator lights by clicking up here and we see a link to the current color and we see these other two connectors. I don't know what this one is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and then we can, we can begin testing. The next thing I notice on this image, we have the link for this image. Um, this is image A and this one I was gonna take from the blob you know, if we have one blob, uh, I think this will still show it. If we click on this input image, it might show the uh, blob results. But the important thing here is when I look at the next image, image B, this link is a gray image because I did this with a gray scale camera before. So I'm going to delete that link and we'll recreate it. And image B We'll get from image A. And here's the value. And you saw the image go from black and white to color, and I'll have to recreate these all up the string uh, for you know C, D, E, and F. Another thing I notice is this these letters, the background colors not following the indicators. Let's look into that. What I'm going to do is try to display both the indicator and the text box together on this screen. And I'm gonna click on the indicator where it says color. I'm gonna right click and say, get link from here. Then I'm gonna go up to the indicator and I'm gonna right click on it and link to the property, link to property. It does say background color. That's what we want. Data Logic has a team of application engineers and system integrators and distribution partners to help you with your machine vision application. Get in touch with us at datalogic.com.